Hello Svengers, it's me Svenny McG and I'm here again today with another quick little video on these today. This is the Surge Quick Grip for the Nintendo Switch. Let's jump right into it, see what it's all about. The Surge Grip Kit with Thumb Grips. These are the thumb grips here. You can see they're actually quite deep and quite thick. Once on, that's actually going to bump it up considerably. You can see there is what the Joy-Con thumbstick looks like right now. So, by installing this right over top, you can see that it's going to actually build it up quite a bit. And some people might like that better. Again, I'm pretty content with just these thumb sticks as is, so I don't tend to use these guys. But just note that they do come with the package. As for the controller grips themselves, you can tell which ones are which because you have your bumpers up here. So here's your lefties and your righties here. So let's go ahead and install them and see what we're looking at. So again, righty goes in the righty. We're going to put the flat part to the top. We're going to slide it down and it's installed. Once in place, you should be able to activate those buttons. You can kind of see there, it's just depressing a little bit. But that is your Z, R, your R. You can see it's looking for it. You've got the Joy-Con ones up top here. It's looking to sync. That's your kind of reset button. And then you have the rest of the layout on the interface right there. Let's take a look at the lefty. Same idea. Install it in, all nice, nice. Just sinks right in there. Again, you can see it's depressing the button by just pushing on top. And same idea, you have your buttons here, reset, etc. So what does this do? Well, you can see it actually makes it pretty ergonomic in order to hold the Joy-Con. And normally if you're gonna play in two-person mode, you have a Nintendo Switch, you didn't go ahead and buy a Pro Controller, you have just this, you, you bought it maybe a second, or you're looking at maybe a second set of Joy-Cons, but you don't have the official controller grip. So you just wanna play a two-player game and you and your friend are trying to get it out there and you're just holding the joy cons and it's getting a little bit small for your hands well again this is where this comes into place some games like rocket league or something where you're required to hold down your buttons on top here for your gas like that doesn't give you a lot of a big bumper here i wish they would have actually built this up and really there's no reason why they couldn't have made it a greater cushion button since all it's doing on the inside you can push right out the middle to inject your Joy-Con. All it's doing is really just pushing down this little pin button right here. So you can see right there, that black little pin button, that's all that's coming down and it's just touching the SL and SR on top of your Joy-Con here. So given that all is required is just this little pin button to come down and touch those buttons, there's absolutely no reason why they couldn't have gone ahead and made these greater buttons on top. Otherwise, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, you can, again, you can hold on to it like a regular gripping and get your gameplay in. So, I don't know. Honestly, is it necessary? No. Does it make it a little bit more ergonomically comfortable? Sure. Can I be readily honest with you and say I've owned these uh, since I got my Nintendo Switch? And I can tell you I've probably used them twice in that time. Uh, mostly I've actually forgot I actually own these. So I might try and put them out in the mix just to see if they get a little bit more traction in the coming weeks, but I can tell you in the two plus years I've had my Nintendo Switch, I've used these very little. Um, it's worth noting they don't add any notable mass. Uh, they don't feel too bad. They're not like super cheap plasticky or anything. Like they'll, they'll sustain a little bit of wear and gameplay here. So they, they feel good. Um, but again, I don't know if it's a necessary purchase and it's disappointing that they didn't really build up the bumpers on top here a little bit better than they did. At least it was worthwhile noting that they did make the other buttons accessible. Everything's accessible on this. So, and again, easy to put it in, easy to slide it out. So kudos to them. There's rubber on or foam here on the bottom just to keep that in place. So again, not a poorly built, but the design, they kind of missed the mark there. So there you have it. This is the Surge Grip Kit with thumb grips. 
Again, I don't typically like to add thumb grips to my things, but it's nice to have. Always good to have replacements if necessary, if the rubber starts to degrade at any time. And again, the items, not bad. I don't find them terribly necessary, but will they be ergonomically effective? Sure they will. And is the construct pretty good? Yeah, not bad. So it's not a bad product at all. If you think you might be able to benefit from it, go pick them up. Of course, this is not a paid advertisement. Opinions are my own. So thanks for checking out this video today. As always, please like, subscribe, comment, follow along on your multiple social medias below. And as always, take care, be good to each other. I know.